For your next Excel assignment, you're going to scroll down here to number three. You're going to be creating an interactive game using Excel. You have three things listed here. You will have four when this video is complete. You have the direction sheet, which we know by now says download file. We then have this image that we're all going to use. And this is an example of what you are going to create. This is going to be the finished puzzle. After we put everything in and we answer it, this is what your document would look like. So first things first, we're going to download this picture. We are going to right click, save image as. You are going to make sure that it's not in your downloads folder, but that you are saving to your pictures folder. You're going to name your document. So waterfall, something that you're going to recognize. It's downloading now. Okay, now I can go to the directions and I'll be able to follow exactly what you need to do step by step. Okay, everything here has a picture with things highlighted in red boxes, clearly marked so you can see, but let's go through it now. You're going to open up a brand new Excel sheet. We're not continuing on the same workbook that we were working on, a new document. After you've downloaded your file, we're going to save right away, file, save as. You're going to go into your documents folder. You're going to give it your name and jigsaw puzzle. And click on save. That way you're going to continue to save. You won't have an issue later on. Now we're going to click on page layout. In our page setup section, we're going to background. We're going to put in a background here of that image that we just had. So we're going to make sure that we're in our folder for pictures. So I did not open up to my pictures. I'm going to look for the pictures folder. Then I'm going to scroll down to find the correct image. I have my waterfall picture and I'm going to click on insert. It tiles. It comes in over and over and over and over again because it's filling up the background. Do not worry about it because we are going to be covering everything except for the area that we need. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the actual area that we're going to be using. So you're going to select cells A1 through D4. Okay, so just those four rows and four columns. We're going to go back to the Home tab. On the Home tab, we're going to the Cell section. We should all be familiar with this already. Go to Format. We're going to our row height. We're going to set to 50 and back to format the column width and we're going to set that to 13. Okay, we already did this a few times. You should be very comfortable with that. Next, we're going to select E1 and E2. You're going to go back here and change the cell width to 70. Why? Because that's where your directions are going to be. We're now going to add in borders around our area that we're going to use. So we are placing a thick border and all borders around our grid. So again, we're going to select this area. We're going to go here to our borders in our font section. We all use this just before. We're going down to the thick box border option. And then we're going to go again to all borders. So you could see our black lines are filled in. Now we're going to select A5 through D13, A5 through D13, and you're also going to put in or borders. That's the last thing that I had selected, so I could just click here. Next, we're going to fill in the worksheet. So we're going to select the entire workbook by clicking on the little arrow on top of the A1. You see the whole thing is highlighted now. It's all blue because it's activated. And we're going to put in our color. So again, on our home tab, we're going to to the font section, we're going to click on this little arrow on the bottom here where we can format our cells. We're going to click on fill, choose your color, any color that you would like to use, and click OK. Now that our color is set, we're going to start adding in our text. So we have over here in cell E1, you're going to type in, test your knowledge of multiplication tables eight and nine you can just use the, the X there type in your answers to you're gonna stop there 
you're going to hit enter. It's going to go down to the next cell and you're going to continue typing to the corresponding cells to reveal the secret picture. Now, we have our two boxes with our information over here. We're going to format our cells. We're going to select the two cells. We are going to left align our cells over here in the alignment section, and we're going to make sure they're centered in the middle of the box. Now, let's go on to the next area here. Down here, we're going to start putting in our information. We're going to highlight this whole area first and make sure that it is centered. Okay, we're going to center our text the same way. And now, for our first line, row number five, we're going to make sure that we are bold. So I'm going to hit bold, and I'm going to fill in my information. Cell, okay, and that didn't actually align, so I'm going to just do it again. Center, we have cell, we have problem. Again, we have cell, and we have problem. We're going to have two rows of this information. Now you're going to insert your information below. You can see I added in all the information. I noticed that my cell didn't become centered, so I'm just going to highlight it and center it now. These are the clues that we have, okay? So a cell A1, the math problem is 8 times 8. Now that we have this information in here, we have to actually set the cells to correspond to our math problem. We are starting with cell A1, so I'm going to click in cell A1. Make sure you are on the cell. If you're not on the cell, this will not work. On our Home tab, we're going over here in our style section to conditional formatting. We're setting our formatting. We are going to go down to highlighted cell rules because whichever box, whichever cell we are highlighted in, this is the rule that will be set. And we're setting it to equals to. Our math problem is going to be equals to our answer. So where it says here, format cells that are equal to, you are going to type in the correct answer. So, for example, 8 times 8 is 64. If you're not sure of your math problems, you can open up the calculator that's in the accessories. You're going to put in the answer. Then you're going to switch this where it says fill. it's going to fill it with light red or dark red text. You want to make a custom format. Our custom format is that when someone gets the answer correct, we want no color. Make sure you click on no color and then click on OK. After that is done, you're going to click on OK. What is this going to do? When someone types in the answer 64, it's going to take away the color and the picture is going to be slowly removed. Continue doing this for all of our boxes over here. After you finish putting all of those in, we have two more things to do. By default, your worksheet is locked. We have to unlock our cell. So what we are going to do is we're going to select the pictures, the picture area. So that would be A1 through D4. Okay, this is the area we're using for. We're making sure we're on the home tab. And we are going down here to the bottom of the font section, that little arrow which we used before to fill the area. We're going to click on that and we're going to the last tab here that says protection. We are going to unlock. We are going to unlock this area so that no one can change it. We're going to click OK. Now we have this unlocked. We have two more things to do, but before we do those, I'm just noticing that these boxes here do not have the border. So I'm going to just quickly add in the border over here so it stands out. OK. Now the last two things are we have to lock our document and we have to protect it. So we're going to select this area, A1 through D4, the area that we want to, the kids are actually going to use. We're going to click on this arrow here in our font section like we did before for the font section. This time we're going to protection. We are going to uncheck the locked box and we're going to click OK. And now we have to protect our document so no one changes it by accident. So we're going to click on the review tab and protect sheet. This will be checked off. You're going to uncheck it to select locked cells and click OK. Now your game is ready. What you are going to do is actually fill in, do your own game. So like I said, if you don't actually know all the math, use the calculator on your computer. When it is done and I see the whole picture, please save a copy of this 
save a copy to LinkStation to your class folder, whichever class you are in, and there is a Jigsaw Game Excel document, and you're going to click on Save. Good luck.